Another big story we're covering today, local school districts having mixed feelings about a new state system that grades each district on an A through F scale. Some South Texas districts did well, others got very low grades. Courtney Friedman with reaction from many of our local districts. The Texas Education Agency's 2018 accountability ratings are based on three categories, student achievement, school progress, and closing the gap, together resulting in one district letter grade. San Antonio ISD scored a C in all three categories, meaning a C overall. But Superintendent Pedro Martinez loves the new system, saying it shows their progress. This is a much more rigorous system. And so for me, I think the system is finally going to give justice to what our teachers are doing. Does it mean that we're where we need to be? Absolutely not. But keep in mind, our district was low performing for many decades. Southside ISD and Southwest ISD also pulled C's. Northeast ISD got B's in all categories and in a statement took issue with the new system, saying no single rating can adequately capture the true effort and effectiveness of a school or district. Students and schools are so much more than one test score. Northside ISD got B's in student achievement and closing the gap, but a C in school progress, but they got a B overall. And in a statement, they said, we believe the grades, which are based in large part on standardized test results, punish schools and neighborhoods that educate larger numbers of economically disadvantaged students. The recently embattled Edgewood ISD got straight D's. A statement from Superintendent Dr. Eduardo Hernandez reads, as a district, we will review metrics at the micro and macro level. I believe the students of Edgewood ISD are more than a test. South San ISD also received a D. The Texas Education Agency stands behind its new grading system, saying the A through F accountability system reflects a commitment to recognizing high student achievement and the impact of highly effective educators while maintaining focus on the students most in need. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. For a look at all the grades for our area school districts, just go to our website at ksat.com. We've put them all in an easy to find spot there. You can find them on the homepage or in the education section at ksat.com.